Vision of the Future is a program produced in conjunction with the Nikkei newspaper, exploring the many issues facing Japan and the world. In 2023, our theme is My Message to Society Now. We speak with top Japanese executives as we envision a brighter future together with our viewers. Our guest this time is Your recently announced annual results were very strong, with revenue and income both reaching new highs. The exchange rate was a major factor in our success. Specifically, we have a foreign currency ratio of around 80%, and the sharp weakening of the Japanese yen greatly exceeded our initial forecast. Our automotive business was also strong, with the shortage in auto-related semiconductor chips gradually easing. In the internal combustion engine sector, revenue and income are growing according to our plan. In our ceramics business, we saw significant revenue growth in electrostatic chucks in the non-ICE sector, particularly in semiconductor manufacturing equipment, which contributed to our profits. If we can maintain this growth, we will achieve our target in the mid-term management plan one year ahead of schedule. Therefore, we should start working towards our next goal. The company's English name was changed from NGK Sparkplug to Nitera in April. Would you tell us the reason for this change? NGK Sparkplug is more of a product brand name, which we also used as our company name. It is the name of a product that is central to our company. However, as you're aware, ICE will eventually reach its peak, and we felt it was time to take the next step and prepare for new challenges. To keep our product brand intact, we decided to change our company name to better reflect the new direction we are taking. How did you come up with the name Nitera? Our employees came up with it. It's a combination of Niteo and Tera. Niteo means shining, and Tera means the earth. We aimed to realize a shining earth and felt that this was the perfect name to convey that. The 2030 long-term management plan, Nitoku BX, was announced three years ago, and in 2021, a new company structure was implemented, followed by a new HR system, in April of 2022. Have these changes impacted the attitude and motivation of the employees? Or is there still progress to be made? In the past, our company grew steadily alongside the automotive sector, which made it relatively easy to imagine the future. But when things are at a standstill, you start worrying about being left behind. There was a feeling of becoming disconnected with society and that we wouldn't be able to grow. As a result of that realization, we shifted our mindset to what we need to do now and how we should go about it. And that will continue to be our mindset going forward. So was there a sense of urgency among the employees? Not exactly. Our performance has been good for quite some time. I see. So in that sense, it's hard to feel an acute sense of urgency. Many are relatively older, especially at the management level of a company, and they tend to think about the time they have left in the company. They see taking action as potentially causing a crisis, so they end up not taking action. That's why we decided to implement a company structure that would clarify each employee's revenue-generating responsibility. That was the start of the company structure. 
The numbers are transparent, and you can see how much you are contributing to the company and to society. And if there's something amiss, you recognize that even if the company is making money, there's always a possibility that that work will become unnecessary. In your 2040 vision, you've made a firm commitment to change drastically beyond the current way. Would you talk to us about the business portfolio you're aiming for? To change drastically beyond the current way means changing our mindset towards innovations and foregoing conventional thinking. For example, although our company's core product, spark plugs, which combine ceramics and metals that protrude from engines to produce sparks, have been enhanced and perfected over time, nothing has really changed with them. But unfortunately, it's clear that kind of society won't continue growing in a straight line. So we are changing our mindset towards the environment and energy, communications, medical and mobility. By adding these businesses, it will allow us to address 80% of the businesses in the world. I see. In other words, we can do anything. For the past two years, that's exactly what we have been doing. We're in our third year now of trying anything and discovering new seeds for our company. And although we still haven't clearly identified our next new business, our traditional semiconductor equipment sector has greatly expanded and fuel cell batteries are also nearing commercialization. These potential businesses may not become as big as ICE, but they look to be contenders. So we want to have several of these pillars to drive the development of our company in the future. Your action guidelines promote what's called change with will. Would you tell us about what you believe is necessary to realize this? Will is something you must possess to realize something. It can also mean passion or motivation. Will has many meanings. Doing something for various meanings can be seen as taking action with a clear picture in your head of what you want to realize. Put another way, to take action, you need to think. And if you think, vocalize that idea and take action, something will undoubtedly change. I say this a lot, but I'm sure you've heard of Mother Teresa. She said, be careful of your thoughts, for your thoughts become your words. Be careful of your words, for your words become your deeds. Be careful of your deeds, for your deeds become your habits. Flip that around and you can say, think carefully, for your thoughts can become your words. Make them your words, for you can take action. And take action, for action can change your life. What I want to say is to first have the will and to think carefully, then put that into words and take action. That's been my guiding principle for a long time in my work. Finally, would you leave our viewers with a question? My question is, what is your will? And what will you do to realize your idea? What do you hope to hear from our viewers about the word will? I want to understand what will people have as they live in the present and what will they'll have in the future to make every day better. My hope is to see meaningful changes to society and the world. What is your will and what will you do to realize your idea? Let us know your opinions and suggestions on the question raised in the program.